Just before I get this video started, um, I am coming back to Thunderbird 2, as you know, from the trial period a couple of months ago. And I did buy this glue back at that trial period. However, when I take it off and I go to use it, it no longer works. Does anyone have any idea how to clear out these tubes, uh, these, uh, say tubes, these metal tubes for these um, glue dispensers because I really don't want to get a new one it's so full I can hear it swirling around I just can't get any out of the fine tip so if you've got any ideas please let me know in the comments down below so without further ado let's get started on this Thunderbird 2 video take it away Jeff Tracy five four three two one Thunderbirds are go Hello and welcome to the second video of this Thunderbird 2 series where we're going to be looking at issues 3 and issues 4 and for those of you who saw the trial issues 3 and 4 it is the same video just with a few added bits here and there. Now uh, this is the last of the um, already seen videos. The next video will be brand new parts and I cannot wait to get going on that. Um, so once again if I do mention that this is a trial or that the proper one will look like this or anything like that. Just ignore me. I don't know what I'm talking about. It is just old me waffling on. So without further ado, let's have a look at what comes in these two issues. So starting off this video, as we always do with the pod vehicle and the pod vehicle this time is the iconic Thunderbird 4. All very nicely painted. The detail is fantastic. Just zoom in here so I can show you. Look at that. You've got the entrance door there, all the you know, the controls, the grills, Thunderbird 4 looking fantastic, really like that type font. And then apart from the fin there, Thunderbird 4 on that side again. And inside the little cockpit of Thunderbird 4, very nice grated floor there, looking very nice. And the front part, clear plastic, so be careful with that glue so you don't hit any of the clear plastic and make it go frosty. And then the fin there with Thunderbird 4 and the back end, Thunderbird 4, really nicely done. A little bit of yellow paint hitting that grill, but it really doesn't bother me because it's just gorgeous. All pre-painted stuff, still can't get over that. Loving the fact that all of this model is pre-painted. So to start off with then, is we need the cockpit there and we need little tiny Gordon, which I haven't actually looked at yet. There is Gordon already in his swimsuit outfit very nice very nice shiny paint there on his jacket and it's got a little tab there which goes with this tab there just get a little bit of glue just pop just the smallest amount of glue in there like that and get Gordon Push him down, get in Gordon, there we go. So I'm just going to leave that to set for a little bit. Okay, so now that that is all set, we put the top part of Thunderbird 4 down over him, just like that. No glue necessary for this part as it just pins in place like that. Look at Gordon through there, fantastic, absolutely brilliant. Uh, the next stage then is getting this piece here and we just attach it to the bottom piece there like that. Again, no glue required because these pegs go into these holes very, very nicely indeed. Look at that. Brilliant. Uh, and then there is a little gap here to go with this part here. Now what I am going to do and what the instructions say to do is just attach just a little bit of glue oops, on this bit here and just around the edges slightly so that it all fits nicely when you try and slot it in. It goes in 
like that. There we go. Look at that. Squeeze it down a little bit. There we go. Very, very nice. Very, very nice indeed. So, of course, the next thing is the fin. We don't need any glue for this because there is a little hole there, a little tab. Just push the fin in like that. And, of course, this, if it does come out, you can attach it with glue. It's just that you don't have to. I think that's fairly secure. Uh, you then get the back part. And I am going to glue this part, even though you probably don't have to. Just for bit of security. Let's pop the back part there. Thunderbird 4. Like that. And now we just need to do the boosters. So I'm just going to attach a bit of glue. Again, not necessary really. But I just want to make sure that they are securely on. Well, they really do click into place these actually so you don't need glue at all but yeah very nice and then of course we just need his front scoop part here which is made with very bendy material so that it just goes around there like that and there we have thunderbird 4 all finished very very nice indeed this part moves up to allow for the missiles or does it move down for the missiles i can't remember but yeah, looking very, very nice. And you can see right inside the cockpit. Oh, Zoom can't handle it. But you can see Gordon there, Thunderbird 4. This is my favourite Thunderbird 4 model to date. It's even got the numbers there on the booster parts. Fantastic. Very, very nice indeed. Loving that. Oh, Thunderbird 4, we've done a Thunderbird, guys. <laughs> Thunderbird 4 is complete. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So now that Thunderbird 4 is all done, let's move on to what we do to Thunderbird 2 in these two issues. So here are the parts that we get in issue 3 and 4 for the main Thunderbird vehicle. Well, issue 3 parts are on the left and issue 4 parts are on the right. And I forgot to say at the start of this video, I know you saw the magazines. You don't get the magazines in these videos. Just remember that you just get the parts with this part work. Uh, so there are a lot of parts here to get started on. So I think the best way to start to make sense of all these pieces is to go back to the cockpit that we did at the end of the last video and attach the chairs that came with issue 3. Now it did say in the instruction manual that no glue is required here and I think you might be right because these are quite hard to push in. Are they meant to be raised a bit? Maybe they are meant to be raised a bit. Thinking about it. Whoa, click. There we go. That one's a little wonky. But there we have chairs. Uh, I think Brain sits at these chairs. I think they all do. Gordon, Alan, maybe. But the back chairs are there, like that. And of course, you can't fly Thunderbird 2 without some form of steering wheel, which we have here. And again, the paint detail. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Looks like a giant horn. Yeah, I wonder what a Thunderbird 2 horn would sound like. Uh, uh, but a lot deeper, I guess. Uh, so yeah, you just slot the wheel in there like that. And then round the back, you'll see when it comes through. If it comes through. Oh, hold on. It hasn't gone through that back hole. That's why. There we go. Right you'll see that there is a little tab there so that you can glue the wheel in place, which I am going to do uh, in a little moment. But that is the wheel all done. It's slightly off center to the chair. Let's twirl that chair around a little bit. There we go. That's a little bit better, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. Uh, so yeah, that is the cockpit all finished at this stage. Now we move down to the end of the cockpit to this area here where we're going to look at assembling some weapons. Look at these missiles. Fantastic. Very 60s, very Thunderbirds, very Stingray as well. You can imagine them coming out of Stingray. Bang! The sound effects of Thunderbirds were fantastic, weren't they? They're iconic. Everything about that show is iconic. Uh, but you, uh, yeah, you get these missiles. You don't just get one. 
you get two. And uh, these are the missiles that will pop up from the top of Thunderbird 2. Now, uh, you'll have to let me know in the comments which episode does this happen? Which episode do they have missiles pop up and shoot from the top of Thunderbird 2? Please let me know, because in my very brief, admittedly, um, research, I couldn't find what that um, episode was. You get this really nice coppery, bronzy, painted plastic part here, which is fantastic. And the missiles just sit on top like that. Now, uh, you can glue them in if you want to, or you can leave them out and for the more play if you want to fire one missile it doesn't really go very far but you can you know take it out so you have one missing what have you uh, this is more of a play part work than the others i don't think there's any metal parts to thunderbird 2 um, so i think it is all plastic which means it might be safer but it is huge and it's going to be heavy so probably not i'm not going to be playing with it too much apart from it making it go up and down up and down up and down up and down up and down, up and down. i might be doing that quite a bit but i think i will glue these missiles in place uh, so when you have the missiles in place like that you will then need to get this piece here which is painted exactly the same and it's got a little tab and two hole connector there swing it around and it's got the two holes and the little tab connector there. You want it with the thinner tubing this way and you just push it in there like that. And I will attach some glue to secure that. Be right back. And when that is all secure, you'll be able to attach it to Thunderbird 2 after we've done a little bit more to the cockpit. So uh, we need this piece here, which is the back wall of the cockpit. Face it around, uh, turn it around, sorry. So it's facing this way. And then we need this see-through part here with these two little tabs that just fit to these holes there, like that. Uh, their feet fit very loosely. So um, just be careful of that. They don't push in at all. Ooh, see. Nothing like at all like that. And uh, we then get this, which is the first of our lighting parts of Thunderbird 2. And it's got two LEDs there, uh, which plug into these two holes there like that. And it will just pop in there like that. Very snug indeed. Now, uh, the trial doesn't come with a battery pack, sadly. And this connector doesn't attach to the battery packs that we have had with R2-D2. Um, it might attach with the uh, Falcon one, but I'm not taking that apart just to show you. But rest assured, you know, it's going to turn on, it's going to light up the cockpit. That is what this piece is designed for. So bringing back the cockpit then, uh, we will be using this area here and attaching this piece here. Just got these three holes. You just push that in there like that. Quite a snug fit. And then we bring in this part here and it's got two little holes there for these two tabs and we just slide it in there like that are you going in there we go okay so there we go and then this part will fit in oh quirky oh blimey so this part needs to be fed through and attached to this hole there like that and pushed through there we go okay so uh this is uh, the um, see-through part attaches to the hole in the uh, in the green part there and then it pushes through to the bulkhead where the lights will come through there and that completes really the look oh that chair's still a little bit loose of the Thunderbird 2 cockpit which is very nice and then we have this wire coming out there it's meant to come out the top or do you reckon it'll come through that hole there it'll probably come through that hole there but for the time being I'm going to leave it like that and that is what the cockpit looks like at this stage. Moving on to the back part, we get our missiles that are now nice and secure. And we just push it through there like that. Swing it around and you'll see that it comes through there. And then what you have to do is bring in this piece here, which is the same color as the uh, missile launcher. And you just push it in there like that to make sure it's nice and secure with this little tight. The instructions do say that this could be a little tight. So I'm actually going to do this off camera, be right back. And when it's pushed through, it will look like this. I lost the missiles, so I'll glue them in, them in at a later date. Uh, so yeah, it will look like this, sorry. And this is the part that makes it pop up and down like that. There we go. Looking very nice indeed. So put the cockpit to one side for now and we'll just bring back uh, the main top nose going off Thunderbird 2. And we need to get this part here, which doesn't have a two on. Don't get it mistaken with this part, which does have a two. Well, that comes into play later. It's this part we need. And it has a little tab there that 
if you push it this way, it fits nice and snug, and then it will push open to reveal those missiles coming through. So that is what that little hatch trapdoor way is for. So the next thing you do is you just get the uh, cockpit, swing it around like this, and line everything up with the screw holes. There we go, so it'll be in there like that. And then we screw the cockpit to the nose cone. And when it's all finished, it will look like this. Very nice indeed. And of course, we've got this part here that reveals the missiles. Look at that. Very nice indeed. Just curl that back up. A little tab that's a little loose. Uh, it might be because I need to tighten these screws. Um, oh, <laughs> I've actually screwed the cable round. I wonder if I can pull that through. I probably can't. So I'm going to have to do a, a re screw job at some point. But yeah. Uh, that is a little loose, which is a little frustrating. Oh, actually, maybe when the missiles are actually on it, it will prop it up a bit more. Maybe that's the case. So, yeah. But that is the top of the nose cone. Oh, there we go. We can really see the cockpit now of Thunderbird 2. How do you get this thing open? Yeah, look at that. Look at that. That is amazing. It fits super well. Look at that. Look at that attachment. There's no line there. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Very, very happy with that. Uh, and the good thing is we are not yet done of this uh, with this nose cone of Thunderbird 2. There is still more to be done. So moving this part aside and these missiles, we'll get the bottom of Thunderbird 2 here. And we get this little attachment there as well. Exactly the same as the top. Put it in there so it looks like that. There's that Thunderbird 2 uh, looking great. I'll just flip that round, it's coming through. Oops. Do, 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 do. Oh, done it again. There we go. So that is on there like that. The next thing you'll need to do is uh, get to this part here, which they are calling the storage hold. Um, which way around does that circle go? Okay, so it goes this way around with this tab facing the bottom. So make sure it all lines up with the screw holes. There we go, like that. And you screw that part down. And there it is all screwed down, looking very, very nice. And I guess that when, yeah, when that opens up, it can be a storage hold. I'm guessing, I know that Thunderbird 2 has a big claw that came out there, especially on the edge of the road and stuff like that. I wonder if we'll be getting that in this model. Again, it's a little loose. Uh, actually, it's upright. It's probably not. Push it up. Yeah, no, actually, it's not too bad. Uh, but yeah, so that is that storage part all attached there like that. The next two parts for this bottom part of the nose cone are these two pieces here. Uh, these are separate pieces because they've got a very nice translucent effect to them. Can you see my, you probably can't see because of the reflection, but they are slightly translucent. Translucent. Um, yeah, they can kind of see it that way more, uh, which is a really, really nice touch and they are made of blue see-through material. Uh, one goes either side. So we've got this one here on the left, just sits in there like that and then this one sits in there like that and a very good fit they are too if we just hold it up there oh, there we go you'll see there again slightly different green which is a bit of a pain but yeah uh they're looking very nice very nice indeed the next thing we do is we get this spring and we just push this spring into that hole there and then we get the top part of thunderbird 2's nose cone and I'll try and show this on camera and make sure we get this part there into the spring and just push it all together. Maybe I'll let the missiles be free. And zooming out slightly, oh, quite a bit actually, because it is so huge. That is the nose cone of Thunderbird 2 all done. Now it's not secure, so there is more of a gap around the seam than I think will be when it's all finished. 
Oh, it's quite weighty actually. Look at that. And then of course we've got the missiles there, which are now spring loaded. So when we bring this over, oh, okay. When we bring this over, it's spring loaded. So it won't wobble as much. Fantastic. Look at that. And then of course you just pop it. Doing. Doing. Ah, oh, look at that. It's going to zoom in for that. Doing. Actually, do you know what will be more effective if there are actually missiles on there? So let me just attach the missiles. Okay, missiles attached. Put this back in. Okay, that's really cool. Oh, it is really quite solid now. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh no, it's all falling apart. The missiles have ruined Thunderbird 2. Just like in the Moving Empire State building episode. Right, there we go. And... Hey! <laughs> I think we do need to glue down the missiles. Uh, otherwise they fly out like that. Where did they go? <laughs> so I need to go find those missiles. Uh, but before I do that, uh, this uh, issue four actually comes with little tiny figurines of the Tracy brothers. So let's have a look at those. I'll find those missiles and then I'll join it at the end of this video. So if you're anything like me growing up, you've always wondered how big the actual Thunderbird machines are compared to us. Well, luckily with this build, we can actually get an idea of that because in issue four, we get the five Tracy brothers in the same scale as the Thunderbird machines. Uh, and I just want to say, even though they're really tiny, tiny figures they are painted fantastically each of them has got their individual colored sash painted nicely and you can see flesh there for the face and it is a nice little touch so that we can get a sense of the size of these machines so if i just roll in the master elevator car as our first comparison you'll get a sense of the size of them you know they do fit very well into that scale obviously because it's the same scale but you can imagine one of the tracy brothers probably virgil driving this machine uh we also have scott tracy here next to thunderbird one now i I didn't really realize how big Thunderbird 1 is. Uh, that is just the part of the tail fin of Thunderbird 1 there. It's it's huge. In real life, it would be huge. I guess all that space is taken up with its gigantic engine to create the thrust to make it move so fast. But yeah, that's something that blew my mind, how big Thunderbird um, 1 actually is. And on the flip side of that, Thunderbird 4 is actually quite tiny. It's just like a car, um, as you can see here with it next to Gordon. And it's a bit weird displaying this Gordon in the full Tracy, um, in the full International Rescue costume compared to the deep sea Gordon that is in the uh, cockpit. But yeah, you get two Gordons for the price of one, which is fantastic. And going back then to the nose cone of Thunderbird 2. Hey, look what I found. I found the missiles. <laughs> yeah, they did bounce off, but they didn't get very far. So uh, the proper build does have missiles, which I'm very glad about. One thing that I do want to warn you about, uh, when you are screwing in this part here on the bottom of the nose cone, make sure you do it on a soft surface, because as you can see, I have scratched up the bottom part of this nose cone to high heaven which is a real real shame luckily i do have a spare and i am going to give uh, keep that sealed until such time as i need it but yeah just be careful of that in fact i might replace this kind of wood with some kind of soft cloth for thunderbird 2 because the plastic is a lot softer than that of r2d2 and the plastic parts of the delorean so just be careful of that make sure that you screw it either hold it don't rest it on anything that might cause scratches because it does ruin it. But everything else looks pretty spectacular, it has to be said. Um, I'm loving the cockpit. And now that it's on the full run, we'll be able to light up that cockpit before long, which would be gorgeous. So um, this is how we're leaving Thunderbird 2 after issues 3 and 4. I really hope you will join me next time, next week even. I hope it's next week. Hold on, let me just say this. Um... I haven't yet been charged for uh, the issues. <laughs> so um, if they come before next Saturday, that's fine. And I'll do a video Saturday. But if not, it is going to be a bit of a delay. Don't worry. I will let you know Wednesday. I will put up either the next part or a little kind of video saying, look, it ain't going to happen till the week after. Um, I think it's just because of the teething uh, issues that all part works have getting the supply and demand kind of balanced out and getting the monthly thing actually ticking over. I don't have any problems now with the DeLorean um, and I'm sure I won't have any problems with the Thunderbird 2 when the process gets started properly and it just becomes automated. But for the start of these builds, there's going to be some teething problems. I've just, you know, 
I've just resigned myself to the fact that that is the case and I hope you will do too. Like I say, I am a slave to uh, these parts coming out. But as soon as they're out, you will get a video on that following Wednesday. I really hope it is next week. If not, I will see you next time for more Thunderbird 2 build. So until then guys, take care. Bye bye.